Yeah. Hello. Are you the property owner? No, but I'm Doug's wife. Oh yeah. Did someone call in? They did. Who called in? Uh. Probably... What's her name? Egg. Mm, maybe. Fuck her. I hate um, that girl. Okay, what do we have to do? Who's who's the property owner? Um. I don't see her right now. Can you Can try and look? Huh? Can we no, push we okay. can't. Oh. Okay, come here. If it was your guys' house, I'd have to get an agency assist from WSU, but. Okay. Cammy. <laughs> Cammy. 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 Okay. You're the property owner, apparently. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you live here? I do. Okay. You mind if I just chat with you for a second? So we had somebody call in um, about not social distancing and the gathering and stuff like that. So, okay. you know, we're, we're taking an education approach the best way we can. Um, unfortunately, our directive is to write tickets to those who aren't abiding by that because there's been a massive public outcry and we're doing that with all the students up on the hill and things like that. Um, is there any way we could go about can we having mass and social distancing sure. and stuff yeah. like that because it's sure. gatherings over 10. Sure, it's everybody in the neighborhood, so we can just tell everybody if, to go get their mask. So, yeah. so what, if, what if we? Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give you the same advice I give everybody else. Okay. okay? Um, we're pretty much in between a rock and a hard place when it comes to the community and stuff like that. The, really, the key is out of sight, out of mind. So. Um, backyard or in the house would definitely be better um, with, every, with everybody out front, cars passing by. I know it's not a well-traveled road by any means, yeah. but ultimately it's kind of where we're at with everything. Okay. Um, do you have ID on you? I do in my oh. in my house. Here, what, what happens like what if what if half of the people were in this neighbor's? Would that be better? So if you or in my, or in my driveway, would so that be better? It's not like one or the other. So like if you're below 10 and have mass and adequately social distancing obviously that would be fine mm -hmm. i really you know like definitely in between a rock and a hard place no 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 gosh i know i'm saying what's, what's gonna make it easier on you um honestly like what do you want what do you want us to do i know it's a beautiful nice day that we'd all love to enjoy but like i said out of sight out of mind is kind of the key so it's you the same be thing. like backyard inside yes ideally like that would be a much better situation okay. Just because. Meg sucks. I, I hate doing this. No, gosh, we believe me. I know Doug's inside right now. I know where you're at. Yeah. Like, none of these people are blaming you for sure. But. Well, I hope not, and I hope you can pass that word along that like our hands are tied. We have certain direction 100%. we're given from the chief right now, and yep, um, we know, we know. You know, what we have a job we have to do. He just said like if we could like be inside backyard. Out of sight, out of mind. We can is go to huge. my house. Hey, Susie, well, go to my just, house. Cammy's invited that we yeah. go into her house, and if we have not, up go to my house too. Go to my house. Like if Cammy doesn't want us. Cammy yeah. has said please like come okay. in upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. We've got room. Okay, we'll take care of downstairs. Okay. And you can you can tell Meg. We hate her even more. I'm not going to call her. I don't <laughs> no, even think she don't. requested a phone call, but no. I know but it's been know exactly. with the dogs and all that. Well, she's called the cops on us. I mean, she calls cops on my kids when they're in the hot tub past him. So we know, but no. People get bored sometimes and uh, have nothing better to do. Thank you. We'll take care of this. Okay. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I appreciate your... Pullman, 440. Class of Etheridge, Edward, Tom, Henry, Robert, Ida, Dave, George, Edward, first and Mary, Common, Middle C, Camille, 0421-1964, female through Washington. Last of Etheridge, First of Mary, Middle C. Camille, 0421-1964, female through Washington. The year of birth is 6-4. So Mary, do you mind if I chat with you just for a second? So, um, 
I really do appreciate you guys making it better and doing all this kind of stuff. Based on the guidance we were given and being um, in violation, I got to give you a ticket today. I hate to do it. Okay. I'll be honest, but I do have to do it okay. okay. Um, so just to guide you through, it's going to be what's called for a, for a nuisance party. It's an infraction. It's like getting a traffic ticket, okay? Okay. Um, and I'll explain it to you and give you some options on that ticket. Essentially, it's um, it's a fine, okay? okay. And um, you have the option to pay that fine or take it to court. You have multiple options, and I'll explain them all to you, okay? The guidance I was given from the higher ups is that um, that's something that we have to be doing if people aren't abiding by the, the, the proclamation right now. So instead of going to the route and find them in violation of the proclamation, which is a misdemeanor, which seems excessive to our command, we're just taking the taking the road of doing infractions and making it a civil penalty. It's not something that follows you around on your record or anything like that. It'd be essentially around the equivalent of like not wearing a seatbelt while you're driving. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Um, so if you want, um, I can fill that out. You don't got to hang around with me. You can go back and talk to talk to people or go inside or do whatever you want to do, and I'll recontact you here in a minute, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions about no, that? Uh -huh. Okay. I'll be right back with okay. you, okay? A few moments later. All right. Sorry, I hate being the party police. It's not not the most fun job to be ruining people's fun. Um, I'll hand you this back. Um, this is the citation here. It's a civil penalty, like we talked about. It's you know the basic equivalent of getting pulled over and getting a traffic ticket. Um, so your information is going to be up top here. Um, my name and badge number is right here. Date of offense. Basically, it's a Pullman City Code. It falls under a violation of a cease and disperse order. It's the same thing as we call a first offense nuisance party. Um, it's a civil penalty. It's $150. You do have options here. Right here, you can read. Um, basically, you can pay it. You can go to a mitigation hearing, or you can test it in court, okay? You have that option. Um, I would do it within a reasonable amount of time, probably a couple weeks or so. Otherwise, there's a potential that they could talk, you know, call you and talk to you and... I think with the city code ones, they can't suspend your license, but I don't know what avenue they'll go about. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact the court right here at this number, or this is the website for them. Do you have any questions about I this don't. today? No, I don't. Okay. I'll leave you with this. Okay. I hope you have a better rest of your day. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys want to do stuff in the future, my suggestion is inside or backyard, out of sight, out of mind completely. Have a better rest of your day, okay?